Hey, what's up? I'm Eric here. Uh, the original plan of this video was to touch Unity to rotate the 3D object with quaternion values. Uh, unfortunately, the BLE part is bigger than I thought, so in this video, we're gonna talk about BLE. Uh, many of my projects have already transferred and received the values through the BLE, and we use the string in the easiest way. Uh, it's difficult to send the wrong string because the packet size is set at 20 bytes in BLE. So it's inappropriate to send a flop value with the wrong decimal point. So let's see how we can handle it. Uh, from now, we will add a Bluetooth library to configure the current program to transfer quaternion values through BLE. In Library Manager, verify the ESP32 BLE Arduino is properly installed on yours. Also check the reinstalled version. The current version is 1.0.1. In the example, you can see examples of BLEs on the ESP32 BLE Arduino. I always use BLE Server Multi-Connect. Uh, copy the source code here to Mahoney Algorithm Project to make a program for adding BLE module. Uh, I don't think there is a special explanation because I have been working on many projects using this, and it's pretty simple. Uh, I will copy the header first, uh, add the required variables for Bluetooth, and the service UID and the characteristic UID are predefined. I will use this. Uh, add a callback class that tells you connections and disconnections. Uh, I will add the Bluetooth initialization part. I will modify a name that will be shown on the other devices during the advertising. We will transport the data through the notify function here, so we won't use the rest of the functionality. So just delete it. Uh, go to setup and don't forget to add a call the Bluetooth initialization function we just made. Uh, we will rotate the object with the quaternion, so the raw PTR calculations are not required anymore. Uh, delete this part. The Mahoney algorithm calculates uh, raw PTR based on quaternion, so there is no problem at all. From here, you can see it's even normalizing each element, so we can use it directly for rotating 3D object. Uh, go back up there. Let's create a string that outputs the quaternions up to the second decimal place. Uh, the comma will be delimited to split the string into the string array. Uh, finally, if the Bluetooth is connected, uh, add a code that sends a value. Uh, send the temp string. Let's try to build. Oh, it's my mistake. It should be in string, not in the second decimal place in the float. Uh, rebuild to confirm. Uh, no problem at this time. Upload it. Uh, open your serial monitor. You can see that the values are output without any problems. Uh, it's printing all for quaternion values. Let's see if the same values are actually output when connected via Bluetooth. Uh, the right screen mirrors my Android phone. Uh, it's connected to my device and it's showing there is a notifying service. Uh, click it. The data format is string, and subscribe to it. Uh, isn't that a little weird? Uh, do you see the last number being cut? Uh, minus 0.43 should be output, but only minus 0.4 is output. Uh, for a more solid test, I will change it up to six decimal places. Uh, as you can see here, you can see the length of the quaternion is longer than before. Let's check the mobile. Uh, 
uh, it's obviously cutting off. Uh, by default, a VR cannot exceed 20 bytes per packet. In order to exceed more than 20 bytes, the MTU must be modified, but it may cause problem in the system if it does not support it from each device. So it's not a good way to pass the value in this way. Uh, let's see how many bytes we need to send this string. Uh, if you look at the bytes needed to deliver the value in this way, you will need at least 38 bytes. This does not make sense. Uh, let's go back to the old class. Here is a character. Actually, string is a one-dimensional array of the characters terminated by a null character. Uh, it takes 8 bits to express one letter, which eventually becomes one byte. Uh, a number of bytes are required as long as the string length but you can store the float value in a different way. Uh, see the below is showing the 32 bit of the float. Uh, 32 bits are needed to express a float rather than a letter. The range of the float, uh, which can be expressed in 32 bit, is all integers with seven or fewer decimal digits and any two to the power of n for whole number. Uh, n is greater than or equal to minus 149, less than or equal to 127 can be converted exactly into an IEEE 754 single prisoner floating point value. Uh, anyway, what I want to say is depending on the purpose, you can decide whether to send string data or converted byte data from the float. Uh, if you convert the full float quaternion values to byte and send them, the total number of bytes you require is 16. Makes sense. Uh, let me convert one float to a byte to see how the value is output. Uh, it can be easily converted by casting with a byte pointer. Uh, at this point, the length of the byte is 4. Oops, I forgot the asterisk. Uh, let's build this and check the byte. Uh, the printing value is uncomfortable, but you can see that the value is printed in 4 bytes. Now let's change the rest of the values to byte format and put them in a 1 unsigned 8-bit integer array in order. Uh, first, create an array that can hold 16 bytes and change all of the remaining float values to each byte. Uh, let me create a simple function to obtain the completed array from each byte. Uh, take each of these bytes out of the for loop one by one and put it in the array. Uh, this ensures that the values are in order. Uh, on the receiving end, uh, cut it and use four bytes in order. Uh, by this, all sending values are converted to the byte array which is 16 size. Uh, lastly, you can send this array through BLE. Uh, it's time to check the result. Uh, first, the serial model doesn't show anything because I deleted all the printing part. It's hard to see because it's a byte value anyway. Uh, at least BLE is waiting for me. Uh, let's check the transfer value on the mobile. What we know is we can no longer see it as a string because we expressed all the values in byte. Uh, also because it is 16 bytes in length, it's not possible to print correctly unless you have a correct password. Uh, what's clear here is that the length of the byte transferred is 16. It's being transmitted as we want, yes. Uh, in the next video, we will see how to extract uh, four flow values from this byte array and how to rotate a 3D object with quaternion in Unity. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.